Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So as you can see, construction is moving on closer towards Wonder Mountain. Um, they were first thing in the morning getting set up, getting ready to do the left side of Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. So on the other end of the globe or right now the pumpkin. Um, they are for the most part done the actual caisson. So the ground part of a footing. Um, so now they're just going to insert uh, the threaded rod and pour more concrete and the footing will be complete. So Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land is about 65% done in terms of footings. But the company that's digging the caissons is moving on over here to start the footings over in uh, this plot of land for Alpen Fury. So... If you really, really think about it, we are starting to catch up. And I know that's really rich considering Raptira is complete over at King's Dominion. But there's something you guys are forgetting. So the track segments for this ride are a lot lighter than building a B&M coaster. Um, and this coaster, for the most part, is very low to the ground. So when they're actually doing the uh, erecting of Alpen Fury, it's going to be a lot quicker of a process than we typically are used to. In fact, if you recall Reptira, it went up really quickly as well, even with those big, heavy track segments. Because there's a lot lower to the ground segments, it's a lot easier. There's a lot less time in between each track segment and less fighting the elements when you're working so close to the ground. So while it might look like we are significantly far behind, um, we are nearing around the 50% mark of footings. And when they do start erecting this coaster, it is going to go up if I had to make an uneducated guess, okay? An uneducated guess they could potentially have this coaster erected from start to finish in a three to four week period. So that, and that's just a, a wildly uneducated guess there. Okay. So please do not hold me to account, but based off of what we've seen previously and how low to the ground this coaster is, I am hearing that it is going to be extremely easy to erect it. Um, so don't fret. Don't worry. I'm going to keep holding out hope that this coaster isn't that far behind. Um, but as you can see there, there is still a lot more tree removal going on for Alpen Fury. You'll see it across from Wonder Mountain's Guardian's Lift Hill um, when you go into the park today. And outside of that, you will see some newer things in the park, which I'll touch on in a second. But uh, there was one new and a couple of support um, shipment that came in. So the pull out of the booster launch has arrived. No other track segments. There might be some new ones um, today uh, if it's down to coming every two days now. But um, I have a feeling it'll still be another couple of days before we see some more. But as you can see here, they are moving quickly. They had already started to dig some new footings over on the other side of that um, World Expo path in behind International Street. So, yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Yes. So, there will be. So, it looks like what I've seen from the drone is they're switching to some new digital boards. Um, instead of those sign boards that you see near the height checks when you enter Medfair and World Expo from Front Gate. Expect to see some new digital signs in the park. So that'll be really cool to see. Excited to see what that looks like. Um, are they going to be touchscreen, interactive map? Like, So yeah, definitely check those out. I don't know if they're going to be fully done. They didn't look done when I flew. But um, hopefully they're done for this weekend because that'd be really cool to check out. Um, outside of that, there is uh, work still going on on the top of the mountain. Um, in terms of flattening out that peak so it's a lot more 90 degree ish instead of like coming down in a slant um, no vertical construction has started and yeah i believe that's essentially it tree removal new digital signs and footings moving on all right well that's it for the construction update today um obviously we'll have an in-park update for you guys tomorrow and thanks so much for watching the channel and have a good haunt weekend bye guys